Are you looking for new ways to use up lots of pattern paper? Then this video class is for you. Look at this precious little fun fo we're gonna make. Welcome, welcome, my crafty friends. I'm Dawn, creator at Didi Creates Crafts. Are you ready to create some crafts? Okay, so this is the fun fold we're gonna make today. Lots of bells and whistles, lots of moving parts. It's simple. Now we're gonna make a neutral card. Step one is to cut the card base at five and a half by four and a quarter. I did emboss it like I did previous videos because I want the back of the card to look as pretty as the front of the card. Your second step is to cut a layer at five and a quarter by four, five and a quarter by four. And then you need a new piece of designer series paper at five and a quarter by three. Now here's the trick with this layer. I'm gonna have you score it at half an inch. So we're gonna have a little score line right there. Now, your next step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna adhere the flap, this part, to the bottom of this designer series paper. So it's gonna open and fold like this. So let's go ahead and do that right now. A great way to adhere this perfectly aligned is to line up your first layer on your paper trimmer, then line up the score against that, and then your glue is on the inside of that little flap, and now it's gonna be perfectly aligned. So that's another little tip another extra way to use your paper trimmer. You're gonna use a tape runner or glue, adhere it down, leaving a little bit of a margin on your base. And again, the back of your card's gonna look so pretty because you've embossed it. Are you having fun? Go ahead and go like this, boop, and hit the like button. Your next step is to cut a piece of cardstock, but in a different color, but a color that's still gonna look really pretty with your base. This you're gonna cut at six and a half by four and a half, okay? So then you're gonna fold it in half or score it at three and one quarters. Then to go along with this, you're gonna need a white layer at four and a quarter by three. This is gonna be for the inside of, let's call it a mini card. Then you're gonna need to cut two pieces of new pattern designer series paper. And these are gonna be, both of them, four and one quarter by three. So the exact same size, one measurement, three different layers as the white layer for the inside of the card. Let's go ahead now and we're gonna assemble these parts. Do you want the PDF tutorial for this card? Tell me you want it below. Plus, make sure you're following DD Creates Crafts. Our gluing is complete, so we've got our designer series paper on the front, the white on the inside. The method to my madness, let's go ahead and adhere this down first. And I made a career decision just now to use the tape runner instead of the glue. So now I'm gonna open that card and close this flap because I'm gonna line this up with the inside of the white so I know where to adhere it, so I know when the mini card closes, it's gonna be hidden. It's gonna be our secret weapon here. All right, so let me line it up. I used my tape runner. I've got some adhesive down. And we're almost done. Let's add some twine to our mini card. I'm gonna just wrap it twice, leave a little extra, and we're just gonna tie a little knot. How cute is this gonna be? So cute. So I've got an embellishment. I have got a, two labels. This label is gonna go on the outside and your second label is gonna go on the inside of this flap. So let's go ahead and stamp an additional sentiment on the inside of the flap on this label. Now, if you're wondering, I'm gonna put the supply list below for you. Now, our happy birthday for the front. Let's go ahead and pop it up with some dimensionals and add my label on top of the string. And then let me get a dimensional for, it almost looks like ephemera, but it's really just some die cut leaves. We've got our twine. We've got a little bit of extra element by adding that layer, which is an option for you. Let's add some bling and we've got a one and done. All right, your card is done. So this is my neutral fall card, I'm calling it. 
lots of bells and whistles, lots of patterned paper. Here's a little bird card, and then come in with the very bright floral. So you know, you know, I'm gonna ask you, what is your favorite card? Do you have a favorite? Remember the three things I want you to. Remember to tell me which is your favorite card. Tell me if you're gonna make this card. Then I want you to tell me if you want the PDF tutorial. I want you to remember to go boop and hit the like button. And last but not least, I want you to follow DD Creates Crafts. Thanks for watching. I hope you make the card. Bye now.